Hi, it's me again with Krill Roll Tips and Tricks, and I apologize, I just can't stop. I actually said that's going to look like a ghost, so I made a ghost in the eyes, and then I thought I really wanted to show what you could do with this spot down here that I did actually with the original one. This is all a sealed up item, so we can take and smart fill it and move it over there, and we can actually left click, right click, and we can go to effects and contour, and we can contour to the inside seven times, let's say. And you could actually, you know, probably do better than that. Uh, but for the video, that's going to be good enough. And then I'm actually going to take a rectangle in case we ever have a leak. Take a rectangle and look at our other colors are brown and blue on the outside. And they're going to be white on the other side uh, or whatever. So, you know, you got to think about your colors. So let's use a red on that line. Let's use a blue on the next line. And what I'm doing is making a, a line of artwork that hopefully will look pretty good to testalize. I hope that is a word. I'm just, I'm not paying too much attention to what colors I'm using, as you can see. Like if you ever pick two greens that are too close together, just do them like that. And we'll do a peach between it. And then we need to figure out one more and we'll make it a, uh, let's make it a purple. So now what you got is we had no leak, so we can get rid of our box. We can nudge this back over. I left one white space, but I've got some white backgrounds in the ghost. Look at that. Now group this together, control G. And I think we rotated from here last time because that piece needs to fit in there. So we're going to... Uh, move the center rotation of that point. And kind of like, you know, if, if you're not on that at first, uh, the whole thing is gonna be messed up and then rotate it either 120 or 240. I did not make a duplicate, so control D, and then go back to zero, and then control D. Now I can see already that my colors aren't really that vibrant, but they look pretty cool. You know, if you really think about it and group that together, control G and move that to there, just like we did in the other. I'm the world's worst about not making duplicates. Um, when I'm working for myself and not making videos, uh, I, I do a better job, I'm pretty sure, of uh, drawing. That would look pretty cool. Of course, I'm not an artist, and um, I'm actually, I think I'm off a little bit. Um, anyway, just some ideas on what to do with other aspects between the birds. You know, if you keep going, you know, there's a brown bird and a blue bird, and I'm way off with this one. Um, and what I was going to say, the... Um, The, um, the boo has some white in it, so if you were gonna print this on a shirt, let's make it a, let's make it a green shirt. We don't really have any green in there. And then go up to object, order, <clears throat> back a page and, well, I didn't put any white in the boo, so we could put white in the boo later. We could take the smart, I just left it blank. You know, you could take uh, white, and fill in the booze with white. And let's see what it looks like. Matter of fact, you could do some with and some without. Let's see what that looks like. And then you can't ever smart fill that box. You've got to make it a box and then put it to the back of page. So some of the booze are going to stand through and some of them are going to be white. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.